die die. I had to vlog this moment. Have you had one yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, digging in. This momentous occasion. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't know why I always, I swear every time I say, welcome back to my, it's like I'm going, da, da. Um, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and another vlog. I'm doing weekly vlogs, I'm trying to be better at them. So I have just finished another one, so I thought it was about time that I started this one. So I'm going into town with Jack and we're going for lunch. So I've just put on, he's basically painting my office skirting boards and he doesn't trust me to go in there quite rightly so because I literally am the clumsiest person and he's like I know even though it's skirting boards he's like I know you'll touch them so um I just had to grab anything to wear and it turned out really nice so I got this um top from H&M which is new in they kindly let me pick like five things I have always shopped at H&M my whole life but they I have a really good relationship with them like if you've been following me for a while you know I went to LA with them and stuff I've worked with them on and off I've probably worked with them like three or four times but like I wear their clothes all the time I really love them so yes so occasionally they just message me and say would you like to pick some pieces or if I see something I really cheekily say hey can I have this please uh, or I just buy all my own money and stop being tight anyway I really like this top I got from them I kind of picked it um because they said I could pick five things and then I was like looking for a fifth thing and I really liked it but it's not a sort of thing that I would normally go for but I've just put it on with my jeans and I actually love it it fits so nicely it's like not too tight here but I guess if you wanted it tight it would look nice too um I'm not a big fan of tight things um this is really nice and like loose the puff sleeves and then it's got a little peplum uh, and then let me show you on the bottom half so it is quite a warm day so I don't think I'm going to be too hot but I've just got my jeans on these are my Levi jeans that I showed you my Amazon haul I've got them in two sizes but these are the waist 26 and like honestly they are really they are really generous sizing I think like I sometimes struggle to get into my size 8 Topshop jeans and they're like waist 26 and so yeah and then also I'm five foot seven and I've got the length 28 so I'd say like they're quite generous in the length and in the waist and also like these were really tight when I first put them on but within like an hour they've given loads so I feel like Levi jeans do give um but yeah I wanted to show you I just got a parcel from Suzanne and I haven't had anything from Suzanne in ages um, and they actually kindly gave me a gift voucher um so I picked some pieces um, and I've been eyeing some pieces up on Instagram anyway so I was really happy there was one piece that I really wanted um, and Jack opened the box he opens all my <laughs> parcels now I've always let him open them because he doesn't get any parcels and he was like what is this bag and he was like <laughs> and I was like that is not something I ordered and then he was like, it's a charm bag and I was like oh yeah it is but the, the charm is so tiny guys this bag is a joke but I just saw it was really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I had money left over from my voucher. And I don't like wasting. But this is like a little. Can you see it's like a four leaf clover. And I love things like that. Because I just think. I love luck. And luck and opportunities. Um, so I was like I'll put that somewhere. And wear it. Uh, and then I got this dress. Which was the main thing that I really wanted. And I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. Because the belts just dropped to the floor. <laughs> And I'm really happy that, about that because it's detachable, which means that I can work with or without the belt. So it's just a really nice, long, a, would you call it a midi? It's an, actually a maxi dress. It's like floor length. It's really soft. It's double lined, I think. So you won't have to worry about anything. And it's got like this peplum hem. And then it's got this cord belt, which will actually be really cute on other dresses and things. So that's handy. And um, that it comes off. And yeah. So they, that's that one piece and then I got two more. They actually gave me a £300 voucher which I don't think, I didn't think £300 would go that far on Suzanne because they are quite pricey but I couldn't believe I got three things and then still how many left over. Um, and then I got this jumper which was the first thing I got and it's the thing that I've been seeing on Instagram loads and I really wanted and it's this little yellow, it's kind of a cropped jumper it's really soft you know and it's like a brushed knit like you can see the fluff on top of it like you know it's probably going to get everywhere but it's got these really nice sleeves that are kind of are they called pointel when they've got the little um pattern on they're kind of like a bell sleeve and yeah i just think it's so cute and 
So it's got this V-neck, um, and I might pick the label off because I think it would look nice that way as well, with like a low back, so I feel like you could wear it either way. And then I also got this, um, which I was really annoyed actually, because I didn't want, so I ordered my stuff from them twice, and the first time I ordered, there was a dress I really wanted, um, and there was loads of things that I really wanted because they just dropped their summer collection, and they don't, I don't think they upload every week like a lot of sites they do a collection per season and once it's gone it's gone so i did my order and then i got an email saying your order has been sent back to Suzanne because you went in to collect it and obviously we all know everyone's at home all the time at the moment particularly me because i'm scared of going out into the world so i don't know they, they definitely didn't knock on the door so i was a bit disappointed and then by the time I got my voucher reimbursed and I got to reorder everything that I had picked apart from this. Actually, no, I did pick these two. So actually I'm lying. It was just a midi dress I really wanted. And it had sold out, so I was really disappointed. But this um, is basically like the same thing as that, but in a top form. So what I had ordered was a black midi dress that was in this like knitted material with this scallop edge. But I do actually think that this t-shirt I will probably get a lot more wear out of. So that is what I have got delivered this morning. I've just been scrapbooking my photo album which you will have seen if you watched my previous vlog. And now I'm just waiting for Jack because he's just finishing painting and then we're going to go into town together, um, post my parcels, pick up my prescription um, and then go and have some lunch somewhere. And I've not actually, I've been to, I've only been to ask that's the only public place I've been since like March or late February because I started like my own personal lockdown uh, like a long time ago. Like I, I, I didn't go to um, fashion week because of coronavirus and everyone was like, you're being dramatic, like it's nothing, I'm sure it's fine. And I was like, no, I'm not going to London. Like it's not worth it. Like fashion week is not worth it getting coronavirus for and then look at where we are it's crazy um so yeah i haven't been really doing a lot for a long time because that was in february like early feb um so yeah and the only place i've been is ask literally um because i went there once with my sister and felt really safe so i was like i can go again now so maybe we'll try somewhere different for lunch today so we ended up at ask again <laughs> um and i got spaghetti al pomodoro i think it is it's literally just a big ball of mozzarella tomatoes and like fresh tomato pasta it's so yummy and jack got four cheese pizza and we had starters too i had to vlog this moment have you had one yet mm. oh we're digging in this momentous occasion jack's just done a plum harvest <laughs> for a mad tree um uh, i showed you the plum tree that we've got outside of during the, uh, the end of the last vlog they're Victoria plums and this is going to be the first plum that I eat from our own plum tree so I thought it was worth marking the occasion oh delicious yeah they're really good mmm right. they're so soft and juicy too yeah Penny wants them plums aren't good for doggies <laughs> oh my goodness right amazing crazy good aren't they mm. i also wanted to show you guys my um sandals because uh it only they only came the other day and penny likes them uh this is the first time i've worn them i saw them on we are twin sam literally obsessed with those girls at the moment and i've wanted a pair of javianas for a while and i've had the classic style and it I just because i've got quite big feet i feel like they just look really manly on me and they just look like cardboard cutouts um, Penny and uh, what are you doing? Um, so these have got like a thinner strap and a chunkier sole, but not like too chunky. Because when I ordered them, I was thinking, hmm, are they going to come and be like Spice Girl shoes? But no, I feel like they're like the perfect little flip flops, and they're really comfy actually as well. This is what the noise is. It's basically like it's my mum's. I just borrowed it. Crumbs everywhere. It's like an ultrasonic cleaner from Silvercrest. I'll see if I can find it to link for you guys. I don't have one because why buy something when your mum has it? 
Um, but I sold some jewellery on Depop and eBay and I just am cleaning it before I send it to make sure it's like sparkly. Morning guys, it's Tuesday. Just having a sip of my tea. I um, just wanted to come on because the most exciting package today and I can't believe they only sent it yesterday <clears throat> and I've worked with this brand before but with a different person because a new girl started and they usually take quite a while to send stuff to me so I'm really surprised that it's come so soon anyway so I have to unbox this with you guys because it's so exciting so basically I'm really tired it's so hot I haven't slept properly um so they emailed me about a particular thing and then threw in an extra thing, which is the most exciting thing. So, the first thing is this. So, it's from Brand Alley. So, they sent me some Supergas. And if you guys have followed me for a while, you'll know that I... I mean, I haven't actually worn my Supergas in a long time. But I used to be ride or die with them. Like, literally, I remember when I lived in Stamford before. It's like three years ago. I, I only really wore my Supergas. Since then... I've like, I wasn't really a trainer person then, so they were like, as far as trainers I went, got really into trainers, so I wear quite a lot of other trainers now that are more trainery. But I feel like I was needing some more because my other ones are absolutely ruined. And I got these. So these are from Brand Alley, and I think they're actually an exclusive collaboration between Superga and Brand Alley. So they're only available. If you don't know about Brand Alley, they are amazing. Obviously, as I said, these are a gift um they it's like an outlet it's like if you like going to vista village and stuff but you're like don't want to go out at the moment like me brand alley is perfect um and they're almost it's almost like a tk max more i don't know how to explain it because they do home stuff fashion and beauty and men and women and so they have like chloe sunglasses and handbags gucci bags prada bags they sell like castanias, they sell like new balance trainers, they even have things like mango, they have like a real range of different brands um, for like every price point but all obviously reduced and then they also have like an Elemis, beauty products, like loads of different beauty brands reduced and then they also have homeware and we've got like some Le Creuset pans and stuff from them before really good place if you want Le Creuset because um, they're really discounted but yeah so the most stuff I've got from them is fashion but I have got some homey bits as well um, but yeah so they offered me yes emailed me yesterday to see if I would like these trainers so I'm so surprised literally from the beginning of our email conversation the next day I've got them so quick uh, and these are actually leather and they're kind of like I don't know if you'd call them like a boot Jack said they're like little booties <laughs> Um, but I don't know if you call them like a little boot or not because I feel like they're quite They're not high tops are they? They're like half high tops But anyway, I really like those and I feel like I wear those a lot and I like the fact they're leather too because I feel like they look a bit smarter but We need to get to the main the main thing comes in quite a nondescript box But You guys They have so many good Chloe bags in at the moment. They have this one. They have the Chloe Faye in like the classic style and the new mini style. You know, the one that's like the same size as a medium but small. They have the Tess. They have the basket bag. They have the Chloe C bag that I've got in it's the little box, like the little square grab bag. They have got so many, like honestly. It's really good time to shop for handbags on there. I don't know if it's because maybe Bister Village and things have been closed. So they've been getting all of the stock or maybe, I don't know. But it's really good at the moment. So I've got a Chloe bag. And actually, this is one that I was, I don't know if I'd have bought it in this colour. If I had the full selection. But I don't think I was vlogging when I was going to buy it. I was actually going to buy this bag in, so let me show you it's a Chloe C belt bag and I've wanted this for probably a year now I probably tried it on for the first time in selfish years like a year ago so it's a belt bag but I don't think I'd wear it as a belt bag I'd probably wear it more like this as a uh, cross like a little teenage boy like a little teenage boy Jack just said uh, a little Gucci. 
Go away! You're so mean. I'd wear it like this as like a crossbody bag. I think it looks really nice. Now all I can see is teenage boy. Yeah, You're so you mean. Or um, like this looks really nice. Um, so yeah, I'll probably wear it more like that. Let me just take this plastic off. But it's so nice. It's, I think this is the cheapest one from the Chloe C range. Anyway, I'll link it below on the Brand Deli website and also um, elsewhere in case it sells out and you want other colours. But it's like leather, gold C, and then if you open it up, it's actually quite a decent size for a bum bag too. Like you could fit quite a lot in there. Um, it doesn't have a pocket at the back or anything and i quite like that it's got this detail here so it doesn't it's not just like a thin strap coming out i love it i'm so happy with it guys a bird has just flown into the house oh my goodness oh my god it's so cute oh my god no we're not we're not screaming what keeping it keeping bird oh my god it's on my trainer it is so cute shall i get it to land on my hand i don't think it will <laughs> Where's the bird gone? I don't know, we obviously need to... How are we going to get it out? I don't know. Why don't you get a coat and just guide it? With the coat. It's not a pig. No, but... You've been watching going, well, that's not going to do anything! It is, it's going to just... I'm not going to hit it. Well, let me oh. shut this door, because what if it goes in... Okay. We don't want it to go ah! in... Ah! <laughs> This is, let me, uh, look, this is the best thing. Ah! That's a <laughs> Don't push it into me! I'm not! I'm not surprising it! Ah! <laughs> Josh, stop screaming! <laughs> You're gonna get Penny out! Oh god, don't! Where is it? Just, you, you get out of the house and I'll do it. I'll be the man. I'll do it. Can Where I is it? it? Let me just sort that out. You just- <laughs> <laughs> No, you were not. That was so funny. I can't wait to watch that back. I can't wait to watch that back and watch Jack's face. <laughs> Running past. That was so funny. So me and Jack are just going for lunch. So I thought I'd get dressed, put something nice on. Um, sorry about the mess in the background. <laughs> That's like my pile of clothes that I need to sort out. Um, so I've just got these new shorts on from the stories that I literally just got delivered. They've got pockets, which is amazing, and they're really soft and like floaty. And then I've got this top, which is also from Stories with the chunky shoulders or like shoulder pads. Um, I really like this one compared to other ones I've tried just because they're like, it's not as pronounced. It's like quite like simple and like not a big shoulder pad, whereas the other ones I've seen like, wow. Um, but yes, so this is my little outfit of the day. And then I've got my Haviana's on again, which I think I'll be living in from now on. Hey guys, so I'm just about to go to the hairdresser, so I thought it'd be fun to do a little before and after. So this is before, obviously, like, I washed my hair yesterday morning and didn't do anything to it, so it's like, nothing. I don't know why there's so many sirens, guys. I don't know what's going on. We literally live in, like, the sleepiest town. Um, and the ends are frazzled so i think he's just going to trim it and then give me a blow dry so i'll be back looking fabulous so i've just got back from the hairdressers and as you can see so he's done he's taken like a small amount off but i don't feel like you can even tell like we we're both saying it actually looks longer uh but i think he might have taken like two centimeters off um and then he i don't know how he did this he did it with curlers but he did it so it was like a twist and then he's put serum through and like brushed it out. Um, but I really like it. It's almost like mermaid waves. I really like how he's doing it. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. I'm losing track of the day. It's Wednesday afternoon now. It's three o'clock. I need to eat my lunch. I need to think of what I'm going to have for lunch. Um, so I've just filmed a Topshop haul. So it's an absolute state in here. Um, and I'm actually doing a collaboration with them on Pinterest, which I'm really excited about because I've never worked with anyone on Pinterest before, so it's like super exciting for me. But I want to show you what I'm wearing because I'm also going to go and shoot one of the outfits. So I really love it um, for my Instagram. So I'm going to show you it because I'm about to pick Jacket from Golf when he's ready. 
Um, so I've just, oh this light has gone quite dark. So I've just got the dress on, it's like a little midi dress. It's actually, they keep doing offers, so I don't know if it's like just for today, but it's actually reduced to £27 today. Um, so it's got a really cute little cut out, but it's so minimal, it's like perfect. And I feel like, like no matter what shape or size you are, it's just, it's a nice little cut out. Um, and it's like kind of breaks it up a bit and then it's like the most beautiful floral pattern and then I've got so it's got like really nice loose floaty sleeves too and you can wear them off shoulder because it's elasticated too so you could wear either or but I actually wave for on um, and yeah it's just really cute what do you guys think and then I've got it on with my little sandals too and these are like reduced to 15 pounds so major bargain uh, and they pick out like the pink in the dress so I just thought this was quite a cute little kind of summer picnic in the park vibe or like summer like I don't know like a French look I don't know what I'm talking about but I just thought it was very cute so I've just set up for dinner well I've just set up the sofa in there it's just me and Jack got a little Sampel treat oh, I just stubbed my toe um and Penny's come because she's gonna beg and we're on the roof test it's so nice there's a beautiful sunset if it'll focus no it won't but it's so beautiful and the light is just gorgeous up here it's actually cooling down a bit now we're having a heat wave and it's cooling down a bit now as you can see it's been my cardigan um oh, that's good. That's weird. I don't know what that was. Ugh, a bit of food on here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna sit up here and have our dinner. That is served. We've got like a tomato -y linguine here and then some like garlic tomato prawns, which I'm very excited about. Guys, so it's now Thursday. <laughs> I do not look great. So I'm in the car, basically, um, just taking Penny to the dog groomers. She goes like every six weeks, a month to six weeks. Oh my goodness, the bags under my eyes, guys. It's so hot, I just cannot sleep at the moment. Um, so near there, there's Starbucks drive through and I've just got myself an iced, but like my order is so extra, iced decaf, one shot caramel latte and a cookie. I've not had um, a Starbucks in so long or like any takeout coffee, so that is a real treat. And I'm just gonna sit, my mum's giving me an old photo album to have a look at, because like, I'm gonna be so bored while she's at the groomers and have my cookie. And I've just seen my batteries flashing, so I'm not gonna talk to you guys for long. But yeah, it's absolutely pouring it down outside. I actually feel quite snug in here, though. I do kind of feel like I might need a wee, and I'm like, where am I gonna go? She's just got back from the groomers, and look at that little face. How fluffy is she? You're so fluffy. Oh, that's twisted. You're so fluffy. You're beautiful. Should we go see daddy? Should we go see daddy? Yeah. Birthday haircut. It's her birthday on Saturday. Yes, it is. Morning, guys. So it's Friday. Friday, Friday. Um, and can't remember what I came in for. I was just going to tell you what I'm for first. <laughs> So basically, Jack bought this really nice bread. Where is it? Oh, here. That's like, it's like a sourdough farmhouse loaf. Farmhouse loaf. And um, we have also got some, he made some homemade jam. We've got to eat this one first because we ran out of jars. But the fridge is like full of jars of jam. So it's so yummy because he made it with the plums from the plum tree. Um, and I tried it last night for the first time, it's so good. So I'm gonna make myself some yummy farmhouse bread toast and uh, jam. And then, I feel absolutely spoiled having our own homemade jam. And then um, I'm gonna make myself a latte and I haven't made myself a latte in ages. But after yesterday's like Starbucks, I'm just craving it. But I only have decaf so I just need to check. Yes, we've got some decaf pods because Jack is awful, he's naughty. When he finishes his full calf, he starts drinking my decaf, which I think is really selfish. Um, so yeah, I just have to make sure I've got enough. And I do. So just using the Nespresso machine and we've got a little 
milk frother so I can make, let me put you down, so I can make um, lattes, which is great news. Um, and then, yeah. So I've just got dressed, I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. I forgot to show you what I was wearing yesterday. Um, I've just got this cardigan on, which is from And Other Stories. I just picked it up the other day in a medium. I'll link everything below and it'll all be affiliate links. Um, and put sizing information and stuff. And then I've got my Levi jeans on, which I always wear. This is not a good place to show you. Um, I always wear these. If you ever see me wearing jeans, these are what I'm wearing now. They're so comfortable and soft and like they feel like joggers like I know people say that about some jeans and I've said that about some jeans before but these really do like I, th I think until I got these jeans I underestimated when people rave about Levi jeans they really are the best um, and I'm thinking about investing in another pair because I like these so much but then I'm like do I really need to because these are good so it's like seven, eight o'clock in the evening now, but we've been quite busy all day, like just doing errands. But we had our session with the dog trainer and she gave us some really good advice. Like honestly, I could not recommend her enough. It was 70 pound for an hour session. And I honestly thought she'd just kind of do what, tell us one thing to do and then kind of make us do it. But she literally had like the longest list of things because I told her what the issue was before. Um, and she went through them all and it all made so much sense um, and she's given us some activities to do and there's loads on her page so I'll link her page below too because there's loads of things like they're called enrichment things um, to kind of make your dog tired and make them use their brain and it's apparently really calming so we've just for Penny here yeah apparently it makes them tired too because they're using their brain um, so what we've done is just got an old shoebox with some tissue paper in it and then put some bits of dried dog food in there and so she's like sniffing out. Apparently it's really calming for them and um, is it this that helps to release the serotonin? Or is it the licking? Anyway, so this, um, yeah, she seems to be loving it though, tails down, but anything to do with food. So yeah. And it's nice to see her doing something too. She's always just sleeping, isn't she, or eating. So, it'd be fun for her to be doing something different too. So, we've just come to a place called Holes and Hills, which is near where we live, just up the road. And it's so, it is basically Holes and Hills. <laughs> um, oh, Penny's doing away. So it's Penny's birthday. So it's her birthday walk. Woo! Rockin' dude. Rockin dude. It's quite overcast today, but we don't mind that, do we, Penny? It's a good day for walking a dog. We don't want a hot day for a doggy birthday. Hey guys, it's Monday morning and it's another gloomy day. So I'm just having a cup of tea and then I'm taking Jack to Peterborough because he's learning to drive this week, which is so exciting because he's been meaning to it for ages. There's always been something like he had it booked for summer or like earlier in the summer or like April and then coronavirus hit so it got cancelled and it's just always been something. Um, so now he's finally doing it, which is so exciting for both of us because I won't have to drive everywhere and he can do what he wants. <laughs> he doesn't have to like ask me for a list. Um, but it's such a gloomy day, I don't know if you can see it, it's too bright. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do today. I need to go to the dentist, I don't know if I said this earlier in the vlog, a couple of days ago I was just eating some garlic bread, minding my own business, and my crown came out. So I've got a hole in my mouth now, which is not great. So I need to get that sorted. So I'm going to ring the dentist see if I can get an emergency appointment today. Luckily I still have it intact. Um, and yeah I have some pictures I need to take to shoot and some videos and stuff but 
um, when it's bad weather like this. I mean, actually, now that I'm filming, I'm like, it doesn't actually look that bad lighting in here. Um, but certainly for taking pictures and stuff, like, you want that good light. And it's raining, so I can't go outside and shoot in the rain. Um, so, yeah, I need to do my VAT return. Um, so, I guess I'm just going to, like, and I need to fake tan because I had a, a bath last night and then was like, do you know what? My tan is so patchy, so... I need to fake tan and I'm actually doing a Pandora campaign so I want to fake tan and put my, I bought some Pandora pink fake nails so I want to put those on and like do that so I might do that today um, and yeah I just got quite a chilled Monday. It's going to be weird that Jack's going to be out of the house because obviously I've been so used to having him here all day every day um, for like the last, <sighs> oh my goodness, since like March, March, April, May, June, July. Oh my goodness, it's been like six months, it's crazy. I always think it's just like a month, but this has been going on for so long, it's crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready now because I don't wanna make him late, but I will check in in a bit. So I've managed to get a dentist appointment this morning in like half an hour, so I'm really excited. Well, I'm not excited, I'm really nervous, I bloody hate the dentist, but I'm glad that I got an appointment so early because I feel like normally I don't know if this is the same for everyone else. Definitely people in the UK, I feel like, will relate. You have to wait, literally, like, unless you're private. My mum's private. And I was thinking, like, maybe I should go private, but I don't know. But she, it's so expensive, but she gets seen, like, the same day. Um, and normally, oh, well, I guess I'm being seen now, but normally you have to wait, like, six months to see the dentist. So annoying. So, yeah, very happy that I got an appointment. Very nervous about what's going to happen. So, I just want to check back in and let you know how the dentist went. So he's just given me a temporary filling. Um, they're not doing any big treatments, I don't think, at the moment because of COVID. Anything with like water and stuff like splashing around. Um, so yes, so he's just done a quick fix, which is like a temporary filling or a filling. I think it's. A, I don't think it's temporary. He's doing a filling, basically. Um, but he said the crown they can't reuse because my tooth has snapped off inside of it which does not sound good at all. So I'm not really sure. He said when I have my next appointment in October, he's gonna do an X-ray and see um, what's going on in my tooth because it's like kind of snapped off like level with the gum. So I, I feel like I might have to have it removed or just keep this filling in, like I'm not really sure. Um, but I, I bloody hate teeth. I hate teeth so much and I'm regretting so many sweets when I was younger, but they're just so good guys um but yeah just thought i'd let you know a little update and now i'm gonna fake tan and do my nails and post an instagram picture and that's how i plan to spend the next hour then i'm not really sure i've got i need to do a video for top shop pinterest and it's actually brightened up a bit so i think i'm gonna be able to do that today which is good and hopefully do my passion my pandora campaign so fingers crossed i can have a productive day hey guys so um, the sun's actually come out, which is amazing. So I'm, I'm all ready. I've got all my Pandora jewelry on. Just need to um, take the picture. So just thought actually, looking at my outfit, that I need to wear a low cut top picture. So I know exactly what top I'm going to wear. Um, but yes, yeah, so because the sun's come out, I might actually ask my mum if she wants to help me take some pictures <laughs> because the sun is not meant to come out all week. So um and i need to do two videos and two photos for top shop so i'm thinking i might just try and get that all done today and get my pandora done and then that will be like a big weight off my mind because i'm just very conscious of the stuff that i have from top shop i mean the pandora doesn't matter as much and i've got other things but the deadlines aren't as close but with the top shop things they're selling out really quickly because i've got loads of offers on so i feel like i need to like get it out quickly so that they don't they'd be disappointed with me for the fact that like by the time I've done the content the stuff sold out so I'm gonna actually ring my mum in a second and see if she wants to meet me and because then I could get her to take a picture of me in one of the pieces yes and then yes take a picture of me in one of the pieces and shoot it and then I can edit that send it hopefully I can film both videos I can get it all sent over today or tomorrow and then they'll be really happy with me and be like hey we want up with you all the time <laughs> but one can only dream um so yes so I'm gonna do the pan I'm gonna just curl my hair sort my hair up it's a mess and then 
do the Pandora. I'm just walking around like a mad woman. Do the Pandora. I need to steam this top. I want to wear. So I need to steam that. Steam's in the other room. Um, and yeah, then. But I need to try and get all my Topshop stuff. The stuff done that I need to do in the house before I meet my mum because. I just know that if I meet her, that'll be it for the rest of the day, productivity wise. So I'm all ready to go. I managed to shoot my Topshop campaign. Apart from I haven't done the stories, so I can't find my Polaroids. And because it's a good day, I just thought, do you know what? Screw the videos. I can do them when it's raining. So I'm going to go meet my mum and take pictures of my Topshop outfit, which is this one. And then I've just popped this cardigan over, which uh, is so cozy. You might remember it from my H&M haul. My Chloe bag, which I love, which is new. My shoes i've got trainers in my bag too because so i think <laughs> did you just see that she jumped up and didn't realize there was a bag there she went crazy you're so cute um and then yes so i'm gonna put take trainers too because penny hasn't had a walk because it's been raining so i thought do you know what i've done a lot of work today so when i get to my mum's i'm gonna take penny to my mum's because i'm picking my mum up and then when I drop my mum off, I might take Penny and my mum's dog for a walk um, so that both me and Penny can get some exercise. Hey guys, so it is like, ooh, what have I just done to my hair? It's like eight o'clock at night, maybe. I'm not sure what time. And I am so tired. Me and Jack are both absolutely knackered. So we're having a really early night. Look at the bags under my eyes. I've just squeezed a spot. Gross. Um, so I actually managed to shoot my pandora campaign finally found some i was looking for these polaroid pictures and jack helped me find them when he got home from driving um so i like all the polaroids so i'm doing a campaign with pandora about their 20th birthday um and i've got loads of polaroids from like all of the press trips that i've been on with them um so i wanted to like use them for the stories because i thought it would be really fun to kind of like talk about my ambassadorship and like my relationship with the brand which obviously is like super strong and i obviously love the brand um so i've worked with them for like five six years and i mean i got one for my 21st birthday a pandora bracelet so i'm clearly like very invested um but yeah so i wanted to um find those so i can do my stories tomorrow but i feel really bad because i'm i was saying i'd send it all over today um, but I just really wanted to use those and then when I found them it's dark so I just need to shoot them in daylight tomorrow morning get sent over to them and then I managed to shoot Topshop with my mum it literally started to spit rain just as we were driving there um, but it stopped thankfully it was just spitting and then um, I haven't edited those though so fingers crossed they're okay and then I literally went for a walk for my sister after I got back from shooting with my mum ate an apple and then ha had half an hour to get to Peterborough, which is like just near where we live. So half an hour basically on the road to pick up Jack from his driving. And then we went to Coat for dinner, which I was so excited about. Um, so we have quite limited restaurants here in Stamford. Um, and it's the Eat Out to Help Out, which I didn't realise they were doing there. I mean, obviously Coat is... I didn't think it was that expensive, but I think it is quite expensive. I feel like when I was in London, I didn't think it was as expensive as how much I think it's expensive now because everything is so much more expensive in London in general. Um, but yeah, it was £40. I mean, we both had starters and mains and we had a soft drink each. And um, yeah, it was £40. And we had like sides, garlic bread and some green beans. But it was so good. I love that. Do they do like this butterfly chicken breast with creamy mushroom sauce and the best fries you've ever tasted and like the fries in the garlic mushroom sauce is just divine so i had that and i was very happy and now i'm like so full and tired and i'm just gonna have an early night super early night and hopefully get lots of rest but i feel like i've had quite a productive day to, go, to be honest and tomorrow i'm gonna do those stories i'm gonna do my top shot videos and then edit this vlog and then hopefully I will have some weight off of my shoulders. But I also need to post all of my Depop parcels because I've got a lot. But I don't know how I'm going to get them to the post office because it's too many to carry. And the post office is like just up the road from my house. But I might have to drive there or like get someone else to help me. Um, but yeah, anyway, not that you guys really care about how I'm going to get to the post office. So... I'm gonna say goodnight and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. So I've just been like procrastinating all morning and I was like, what can I do without getting ready yet? So I've just done my Pandora stories and I wanted to show you um, this 
what I was doing because I found my Polaroids last night, the ones that I was looking for all day. So this, I thought I'd talk you through them. So this is when, this was our like last meal. I think it might have been our goodbye meal. Josie's actually not there yet, I don't think in that picture. But it's just me and, oh I'm not there. No I am, that's me. <laughs> God my hair looks dark there. So it's me, Marta who does the, um, or she used to do the uh, event planning. She still does it but she does it working for herself now which is amazing. She's got her own company. Carly who's like head of marketing. Then Mariko and Jess who I would now consider all of these girls some of my closest friends. Which is why I did choose for the campaign I chose the friendship charm. Because it's like... I just, Pandora has brought me so many amazing friendships and also just so many amazing memories. And then that's all of us girls after the Pandora sleepover. So it was just with us for, we had like a little sleepover uh, for Galentine's Day, which was so fun. We got like blow dries, got our nails done. Um, and so there's Josie, me, Jess and Mariko. Had a little breakfast in bed thing. We shot these because we wanted to do them ourselves. It wasn't part of the Pandora campaign. We were just like, let's do this, it'll be fun. I don't actually have any from Cheat and Glen, which is annoying. So we did way more trips. And then this was our first blogger trip together for Pandora uh, as ambassadors. And we went to Thailand. I don't know if you can see the people in this picture because it's so tiny. But yeah, that was on our trip to Thailand. And then this was my first ever trip. And this is way years before I became an ambassador. You probably can't see the people again there. But that was in Limewood. And I think that was one of my first ever blogger trips. And... I just couldn't believe that I got to go with Pandora, it's crazy. So yeah, I'm just gonna sort out, I need to figure out what I'm gonna put as the writing over the stories and my caption for the picture and then I'm gonna send it all for approval. Then I'm gonna get ready and do those Topshop videos that I said I was gonna do yesterday. And I've also sent Topshop the pictures I took yesterday and edited. So I'm feeling like more on top of things now. I mean, it's great that I'm really busy because I feel like I just maybe I mean I feel like this is what kind of what I was like before but I've got so used to like it being quiet with coronavirus and just like doing my own thing that I feel like now that the work's flowing in again I'm not like I need to be better at like organizing myself um but yeah I had a few things that were all like getting on top of me but I think that I've got those done now that's pretty much it so I'm probably going to sign off now to be fair because I want to edit this vlog today so I can get it up for tomorrow because I did promise Wednesdays are my new vlog days um so I'm gonna um end this here so that I can stick to that um so I'm gonna say bye thank you so much for watching Penny are you gonna say bye too with your cute little haircut why are you gonna say bye oh someone's in a mood <laughs> Side eye. Penny, why are you in a mood? Oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Um, maybe she's not getting enough attention. She looks so depressed. Um, if you got to the end, leave me a comment about how depressed Penny is. <laughs> um, and then I'll know that you got to the end. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Oh, something's packed up. And I will see you next week. Bye.